Hello everyone, this is The Roving Reporter. And as the opening image of the video already reveals, today I'm going to be talking about the waiting room feature in Zoom. But not as only as a security measure, because most of the times we use it, so that it allows us to see if our students are actually our students before we let them in, or before we let anybody into the room for safety measures. But how about using the Zoom waiting room as a learning space, as I suggested on that opening slide, where you can post a big question to get students you know, ready. You can, you know, maybe put put forward some announcements talking about what has to be done during the, you know, the period of the lesson or what is expected. You could talk about the learning aims. So you could even present an agenda, you know, what's going to be covered in the lesson so you get students prepared for things. You can also present some quick revision exercises, a quick recap of what was, you know, what happened in the previous lesson. So they're all ready to go when they come in. Uh, you could assign a task where well, post something that gets them ready, right? Remind them of certain uh, protocols like Oh, don't forget to mute yourself when you come in, put on the camera if you want to keep you know, the interaction, establish a few um, common rules or regulations, expectations that you've already established with them. Maybe you want them to bring, bring pen and paper, um, ask them, remind them to bring some kind of realia. Oh, don't forget to bring your ball, for example, or your favorite toy, you know, to wear your favorite hat anything like that you can put this this information in the waiting room so you get students prepared let's see how we can do just that shall we all right here we go. so you go to your zoom account as i have mine open right here and you go to the settings right on the left and it takes you to this first page uh, probably the second option right down there shows you waiting room which you enable by clicking this right this knob here on and off and you go down to the options so this is where you go and you edit or you can customize the waiting room first in terms of edit you can decide who is going to go to the edit this waiting room maybe so if you have sent out emails or you already made a list of students who are on your account then you don't need to put them in the waiting room because you you know they are trusted they come in with the email that's already been included in your list of contacts so you can decide on this you can uh, you know also enable this format here so if you get lost the connection falls through you can always put students back into the waiting room so they won't get lost you know you can keep everybody organized like that but the most important thing is going to the customize part where you have like this so you can upload an image we can include an image like this you can use this to also maybe encourage some thought before the lesson begins maybe a provocative image to get them going you can also send a quick message to also prepare and down here as i mentioned you could include uh, other pieces of information uh, like a, the warm-up questions, a recap of last the last lessons you've been studying, a list of the learning aims. So at the end of the lesson, you will be able to do so and so. So to get them excited, to get them ready for that lesson. You see, so your topic is going to be here, even the form of an image. And you can use these three items to prepare your students for the lesson. Very, very straightforward, right? So it's a really useful tool. I think, again, it's not just a matter of security, but also a matter of getting students ready for what's to come. So it's a great way to prep your students for what's, you know, what they are prepared to see. Um, you get students engaged. You get students really, really excited and worked up for the lesson. OK. All right. So to sum up, using the waiting room not just as a security feature but as a learning space a pre-learning space so as the name suggests a waiting room we can use that opportunity for them 
to provoke some thought, stimulate some interest, and get students revved up for the lesson that is about to start. Get them thinking, get them active, you know, really, really ready to participate. Okay, this is the roving reporter. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you make use of this if you're using Zoom. All right, don't forget to click on that like button, click on the bell to get notifications of videos like these and more. Take care. Bye bye.